Back in the solar. It's been too long since we were all together like this. Not since. Not since after Moon Breeder. Much has changed since then. We ourselves, most of all. Though not all who were lost could be gathered here today, we may take comfort in the knowledge that those who are not are carrying on the fight. While I am grateful to our friends in the North for their hospitality, it isn't half good to be back. But, as Papalima rightly said, much has changed since we last stood here. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn are not as they once were, nor should we be. Our travels in the North brought us into contact with a host of fine and generous people and their selfless deeds serve to show me that it is not lofty causes that should inform our actions, but our hearts. And I hope that the Scions might continue in this manner, as individuals driven by individual principles. Provided we all sincerely desire to work towards Eorzea's salvation, I believe the paths we follow to achieve it need not, and should not, be dictated by any single ideal. Companions bound by a common purpose, free to go whither they will. The idea is not without merit. Very well. I shall resume my research of the primals and the elder gods of Eorzea. Should anyone have need of my findings, you need only ask. I should be glad of your continued assistance. Well. My main purpose in coming here was to see the signs of the Seventh Dawn restored and my dear friend found. Nevertheless, having involved myself in your struggles, I feel compelled to see them through to the bitter end. For Minfilia's sake. That is, if there are no objections. You will always be welcome here, Kryle. Oriangere, and we trust you to carry on your investigation of the Asians as before. Regardless of mine own desires, I am undeserving of your trust having so villainously deceived you all. Now, now, I'll hear no more of that. It would be disrespectful of Minfilia's wishes. 
She entrusted matters here to us. That we might protect this star and understand the truth which hides at her heart. Mayhap I can handle the former, but I think you far better suited to the latter. No? Very well. Then out of love for my Lady Minfilia and Moonbreeder both, this shall be my solemn charge. I... Papalimo and I should probably return to Thandalan to keep an eye on the Resistance. There's still the matter of the Griffin and the Amalja, not to mention the new Imperial Viceroy. That little lot must be worthy of our attention, right? And what will you do, Alize? You know I have no great love for organizations and formalities. That being said, this new approach you propose is not wholly objectionable. And we've always got him to keep us from bickering. But I will suffer no titles. I am not here for House Leveille, nor to walk in Grandfather's shadow. Upon that point, we see eye to eye. If it please you, you may think of me as but another comrade in arms. Well then, Alfie, I for my part shall see to the paperwork and the finances with my characteristic aplomb. I would not have it any other way, Tataru. And we mustn't forget you. What now for the Warrior of Light? us was fraught with hardship, and the path before us will be no less unforgiving. But a new dawn shall break over the realm, and I see before me the faces of those who will deliver it. heroes are another world's villains. One world's loss, another world's gain. Where men go as one, there is life. And where there is life, My friends, if I may, I would ask that you entrust Tupsimati to me. Clouds gather upon the horizon, and as Master Louisois' disciple, 
I would keep it close at hand. Thank you. I shall guard it well. There is cause to hope. For every ending, every parting, marks a new beginning.